look at some of the utility features on the trading tab of the Option Traders template. But first, I'm going to bring in a populated template and I'll show you some of the results and hiding and showing trades by trade ID. Now here I've pulled in a template of Allergan. I trade Allergan quite a bit. One feature that I like is being able to hide my closed trades. Now on Allergan I have 400 shares and I also have a covered call and a naked put open right now. So I'm going to click on the hide all my closed trades and there are my my four purchases of the shares and there's my short call for the these shares and a naked put. Now I also have these segregated by trade ID. If I only want to take a look at the trades that comprise this trading basis here, I'm going to use trade ID B and I'll show show that one and those are all my B trades. I'll go ahead and clear that. Now here's what you can take a look at by trade ID some of the results. For instance, I'll take a look at A. A was a my first couple of short puts. I closed those or they expired worthless. B is the one that I am running now. So I have a total kind of a running basis of $71,000 in that trade. Here's C, D, and that's my last one. Now those are all the trades I have going right now. On this last one, I'm not sure if I'll be assigned those shares, so I left it as another trade ID. If that is assigned, I will go back and change that to B and you'll notice that that changed as well. One thing I like about this result is I can take a look at the commissions and the fees that I have been charged in pursuing some of these trades. It's always helpful to know exactly what your commissions and fees are. Another feature that I find helpful is let's say I wanted to get out of some of these shares and I wanted to sell out at currently the price of Allergan is, is right at 187. So this is the what if column. So I can hit my question mark 100 shares sell for 187 it will calculate what my gain or loss is, but this designator changes this color as you can see and I'll, I know that that is not a real trade. I'll go ahead and put some commissions in here. So it'll be $3.75 for this one. So there are the closing trades in a what if scenario and here I'm at about a $4,000 gain and so now I can go back to my results and see how I did. So on that one I made 4.3 percent in roughly four months. So I'll take that. Now I've updated the template to add if you want to clear a closing trade. I've put a command button here and I've also done it on the open side and I'll show you that in the unpopulated option traders template. So here I have populated an opening trade and a closing trade. Now what I want to show you is here, this is a what if, and let's say I want to clear this what if closing trade. I can clear this. Are you sure? Yes. Is the cursor on the what if cell of the closing trade to be cleared? Yes it is. If it's not, you just say no and it backs out. Let me go ahead and yes it is. And you can always, when you're ready to sell, do the same thing, buy to close, and that trade works. You can do the same thing for the opening trade as well. Here, 
Are you sure? Is the cursor on the what if of the opening trade to be cleared? Yes, it is. And there you are. So those are some of the utilities of the trading tab of the Option Traders template. They're basically operational shortcuts and analysis features. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the